everyone and welcome to another Geek Gear unboxing. This is um, March's box that I have here. March 2018 World of Wizardry Geek Gear box. Um, I'm sorry it's a little bit late this month but I only just received it um, yesterday in the post which is pretty late for Geek Gear. Um, as it was the 28th yesterday, normally the boxes, I receive them between about the 23rd and 26th of the month. So yeah, it was pretty late coming out yes, um, this month. So I'm going to do this unboxing straight away as we are nearly at the end of March and we're nearly into April. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it up. Oh, tear that across. And inside we have um, the tissue paper for Ravenclaw, so any house-related items will be Ravenclaw. So I think the hint for this month's box, if I can remember correctly, was something to do with Remus Lupin. And um, I think there was going to be another mystery wand in this box. So I'm pretty excited to um, see what's in here. I love Remus Lupin. He's one of my favourite char characters out of Harry Potter. Um, he's just such a lovely guy and, um, you know, helping people out. I know he's a bit of a werewolf, but, you know, aren't we all? So um, I'm going to go ahead and get the T-shirt out. And it's a black t-shirt and on the front we have a lovely big picture of Remus Lupin himself um, holding his wand and underneath is his um, other half, his, um, what he looks like when he turns into a werewolf. So his um, split personality there which is really really nice. Uh, I'm just going to turn it over, but I don't think there's anything on the back. No, it's just plain black t-shirt, but that's really, really nice. Um, the next thing we come to, ooh, looks really interesting. I love these. They're, um, it looks like they're a pair of house socks. So they'll be Ravenclaw, and they are a Geek Gear exclusive. And they're plain black socks, which I love because I can wear these for work. And they have like a little collar at the top by the looks of it. And then the little Ravenclaw tie. And the blue like heel there and the blue for the toe the other end. So I really, really like them. They're lovely. Next thing we have... I will take this out is this um, lovely little box and on it it says handcrafted house wax stamp set so already I am so excited because I was nearly gonna buy a wax stamp at Christmas to put on all my Christmas cards and I was like no I won't really use it enough to buy one but um, so we have this um, blue wax um, for Ravenclaw of course so we have a wax stick there and inside we have this beautiful little um, really really heavy um, brass stamp just a little mini one and on it it's quite difficult to see there but it's really intricately um, cut out if you could see there and it is the Ravenclaw house crest so that's really really lovely so i can't wait to put all those on my letters i send now so that has saved me some money by not having to buy one in the end so i really love that and it comes in a really nice little black textured box as well with the sleeve so it just looks really nice as well the next thing are some more house pins, as always, and these look really cute. They're in a nice little box again. Ravenclaw again, a lot of Ravenclaw items in this bo this month's box. So we have this cute little, like Ravenclaw Quidditch jumper, like enamel pin. That's really really cute. 
in blue and bronze and then we have so we've have two pins no we've got three pins in this box actually we've got the ravenclaw scarf another pin in, in enamel again which is really nice and then the last pin is this lovely little um, ravenclaw tie house pin so we have um three all together in this box so that's what they look like all together so they're really really nice i love those so that has really boosted my um pin collection so it's had some really really good items this month um we have even more to come so i will take out this big box next in this lovely box and it's it's made to look like crumpled like brown paper and tied with string which is really nice and it says on the i don't know if you can see the gift tag but it says um to ron tried fixing your wand hope it works okay love mum i really like that detail that's so cute so we've got a um piece of sellotape or should i say spello tape i just i don't want to rip the box but i don't think you can open it without um ripping it because the sellotape's on too tight and then we've got this lovely black tissue paper inside this black and gold i love this tissue paper it's got the little house crests on it as well the little h for hogwarts little raven um a little snake to slither in it's really really cute a little a lion there for gryffindor it's beautiful tissue paper it's a really really heavy wand as well and um this is so this is ron's wand when he broke it which is really fun so it's like a really basic kind of plainish light coloured wand it's kind of got all these like grooves in it you can tell it was kind of supposed to be like a second or third hand wand that's been kind of passed down from his brothers and sisters you know that's been knocked and bashed about and it's like totally bent and it's supposed to have like this um like it's like a clear of kind of cloudy dirty kind of plastic but it's supposed to be like um like you know spello tape um wrapped around it and it's a weird angle so that's a really really fun one to have i love that i absolutely love that i'm not sure if it would work but um it's just a fun piece to have to add to the to my wand collection so i love that um the next thing we have this looks really good oh i've seen these in um in the shop they actually sell these in hawkins bazaar and a few other places i've seen this wand i think it's quite a new um pen that's just come out not not long ago and it is a authentic weasley and weasley spinning top pen so i think the top must like spin with different like spells on it uh it says quality weasley goods on it and it's a, one of those pens that you push down and it's like it, it writes a different colour so yeah it's a multicolour pen it says there and there it is spinning at the back as well you can see oh yeah it turns it yeah it turns around kind of there so that's quite fun I really like that that looks like it's probably sold in uh wizard wheezes sweet shop or joke shop something like that i love that uh, next thing we have are some oh i love these some cookie cutters so we've got a pack of three cookie cutters so we've got a it looks like a sorting hat cutter a snitch cutter and i think that one looks like an owl cutter so i i can't wait to do some cookies with this That'd be really, really fun for a um, kid's birthday party or something, or just if you're having a Harry Potter evening at home. That'd be really fun to make. 
and then as usual we've got some recipe cards to put in our recipe binder so we've got these magical butter cookie recipes which i guess you can use the um, cutters for they're really good and they've iced them as well which look really good so magical butter cookies is the first recipe we have this month second recipe we have oh fever fudge another wizard wheezes uh, recipe there so that looks fun might try making those oh that looks really nice as well so we've got butterscotch fudge as well i will definitely be making that that looks absolutely scrummy so yeah some really nice recipes in this month i'll probably be making all of them and i'll probably be uh putting some photos on my twitter when i do that or i will um maybe do a little video or something if you guys would like to see a video of me making any of these or um finished articles yeah i think i might um leave your comments down below if you want to see me doing any of these recipes that'd be quite a fun thing to do and then the last thing i think we've got in this box this month is a print as always um and it is a lovely print here which we have oh forks of phoenix which is really lovely um in this beautiful like creamy yellow background with this filigree decoration and i've got the glare from my lights there um so that's really a lovely decorative print i really really like that so i may even frame that one so that would look lovely in a living room or something that would that's really nice so i think we've done really really well this month with the amount of stuff we've had um, i'll just go through the leaflet and see what we had this month so we had um ron's broken wand we had the weasley multicolor pen we had the magical cook cookie cutters the cookbook recipes the um, house pin set the wax stamp set the house tie socks and of course the t-shirt and the print so that is that's loads in the box this month that's one two three four five six seven eight nine items this month i can't believe that that's the most they've ever put in a box i think that amount of items that is absolutely amazing um and we've got some of the winners on the back there from last month um you can win one of these beautiful um metallic house crest decorations for next month uh subscriber spotlight and this month is keely marie thompson i watch her um, youtube videos unboxings quite a bit she's really good Next month's box hint, which will be April, is Sirius Black. So I can't wait for that. So just to let you all know, um, next month, um, it's going to be a little bit different with my um, unboxing of April's Geek Gear unboxing. Um, I have actually um, changed my box. So next month, it's not going to be Ravenclaw. I've actually changed it um, to Hufflepuff as my daughter wanted a box next month for her birthday so it's going to be um a kid size t-shirt and it's going to be hufflepuff next month just to get an idea of the different kind of house related items you know in other houses and stuff like that so yeah um i don't know what to say for my favorite because i absolutely love everything in this month's box i don't usually say that but it's true i do actually love everything in this box but if i had to choose maybe two i think i would probably choose the um i don't think i can choose two i just love everything in this month's box i especially love the wand because it's it's just so gimmicky and different i've never seen anything like that i, I don't see i haven't seen any ones like that in the shop or anything so i absolutely love that just as a one-off individual item um i love the pen for its novelty value 
Um, I would probably say my favourite has got to be the wax stamp set because I was thinking of buying one of those and I absolutely love that. That looks really good quality and I love the socks and I love the t-shirt as always. So yeah, I just love everything. So anyway, give me your comments. Um, what did you like in this month's box if you subscribe to Geek Gear? Um, any comments down below don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe if you would like to and hopefully I will be doing um, a video before the end of April um, I've got some things planned kind of April onwards for um, days out and stuff like that spooky and Harry Potter theme days out so I'm hoping to do some vlogging and take you along with me so watch this space and I'll see you in the next video bye